has the fish keeping of in Australia changed in the last five years? Well, that's a good question, Riley, and um, I'm a bit embarrassed to say I don't have many fish keeping friends down here. I got my brother in Queensland, eight hours away. I got Blackie 66, who I've never seen his tanks only on videos. Uh, he's four to six hours away, just got on exact location. Um, he's told me many occasions. I have a nephew just around the corner. Um, the only people I can talk to about fish keeping is you guys. You guys out there. Uh, that's why I share my heart and sleeve. That's why I share my hobby. Not for fame, not for money. Um, so that's sad. So, but it makes for a good idea for a good video, Riley. How about I rock into my two favorite fish shops. One at Tari, 25 minutes away, and one over the bridge, eight, 10 minutes away. And ask them, how's it changed in their shop in Australia in the last five years? Because honestly, I've got no outreach. Good ideas for a good video. And while we're talking about that, guys, if you want to learn more on any of these questions, because I only send them around two to two and a half minute answers, and I can't elaborate as much as I want to on these questions. So if you want to do any further quest videos on a single question, let's do that. In Australia, is there any fish that native to Australia kept in the hobby? We're looking at one right now. This is Australian barramundi. A baby at the moment. Still on live food. Um, and an absolute rhythm monster. Don't go over a meter long. Have another one over here. The Australian Murray Cod. An absolute beast. Growing well over a meter. Big round, as round as this tank. Both of mine will be going into bigger tents, tanks, five footers, six footers, indoor pond, then outdoor pond, and then eventually to a Murray Cod farm and the Barramundi farm. Um, there are other fish in Australia. I'll have to do another video on it because um, this is just going to be too long to list. You got the Jardini, which is the Australian Asian arowana, um, Saratogas, big eel tail catfish, a variety of gudgeons, um, even ranging the desert gudgeons. Um, a, awesome array of rainbow fish um, the list goes on and on perch bass um, mangrove jack but you get them all over the world but, um, called different names so yeah the list can go on and on mate and yeah we have a beautiful variety of birds as well as snakes, spiders, hundreds of creepy corns. Most of them can kill you. Where would I take you other than my place for a fishing experience in Australia? Three places come to mind. Sydney Aquarium, three hours south. 
uh, Queensland SeaWorld, eight hours north. A shop in Sydney where it looks like a little shop at the front, you just walk in and it's like factory deep that way, factory deep that way, just tank after tank after tank. I've never been to the place, but I want to go. Uh, I would take you freshwater fishing. I'd take you to rapids, I'd take you to still water. I'd take you deep sea fishing, reef fishing, beach fishing, rock fishing. I'd take you hunting. And I promised all this to Dad's piranha as well. And that offer will still stand one day when he's in a position. But mate, yeah, I could um, certainly give you an experience down here and anyone watching, it's a crazy, hectic place and oh, I love it to death. Like I said earlier, seventh generation Australian and um, from the first fleet. So I know some bush tracks too, some mad lookouts. I can take you to one spot uh, where I know there's a bank just full of trapdoor spiders. It's amazing. Um, kill you, but amazing. Um, I can show you things down here, brother. So, for now, thank you for all your questions, and I hope we can do it again sometime. Peace, my brother. Peace, everyone watching. And until next time, one love. So there you have it, um, three sections of my interview with Thirsty Rabbit. Join me next time for another interested conversation with an interested personality within the fishkeeping community. Rally here. Peace. Cool.